Good day guys and welcome to today's recording. I'm going to get back to starting to doing YouTube videos pretty soon but pretty much right now it's just recordings. Why? I'm pretty busy right now with school and such so I really don't have the time to put a forecast together and release it so what I do is I'll just record something on my phone and kind of edit it then release it on YouTube. Of course, when we get closer to December, I will try to improve my content because right now it's really down, especially since we're approaching the midterms for school. So I'm trying to do, I'm going to do better on the YouTube channel also in school. So um, you guys, please bear me for this moment. But as I said in today's recording, we're going to be talking about this tropical cyclone that could hit florida um in the next couple of days so that's going to be the topic of this recording so if you guys don't know about subtropical storm nicole currently it's a tropical storm a subtropical storm you know if you don't know what a subtropical storm is it's not a tropical system it's really elongated pretty much if you guys know that the criteria that tropical systems need to form um subtropical systems do not need that criteria subtropical systems are pretty much elongated if you'd like to say it like that and they they do not have a confined and a defined center of circulation and the area of um you know the area of moisture is elongated tropical systems have a focus area of moisture and of and that focused area is around the center of circulation but when it comes to subtropical systems they're pretty much elongated and they may look like troughs but um as i said currently it's a subtropical storm but it is expected to become tropical as it enters more favorable weather conditions currently there is um there's a ton of wind here not much i don't know why i said a ton but there is some wind here and dry air which is the main thing that's causing this to more or less be um weak but it is expected to strengthen into a hurricane eventually before landfall on florida recently um florida got impacted by ian which was in september but then um of course ian hit western florida but now this one is coming to eastern florida so those who live in mainly portions of southeastern florida and central florida so you know please continue to monitor this because i know that some people in florida tend to have um they tend to underestimate november tropical systems but this one could become a hurricane as the national hurricane center mentions in their forecast it should be a hurricane by 2 p.m on wednesday and today is monday so that's within the next two days guys you guys in florida and the bahamas you should be preparing for hurricane conditions within the next couple of days i mean 75 plus mile an hour winds and also storm surge and flooding flooding is not really a large concern as of now but the surfs could be up also there's going to be you know very bad sailing conditions for those who are going to be out in the seas but of course as this is going to be approaching portions of eastern florida and the bahamas as a hurricane you guys should be getting prepared of course please don't do any major preparations because this could there's a slight chance that if this um if this moves slower it could try to scope up along the east coast and pretty much avoid florida but that's looking less likely every hour now so models have been trending that this will pass over central florida eventually get back out into the gulf of mexico and then it will move into the florida panhandle as a tropical storm 
Now, as I said, it's going to move into the Florida Panhandle as a tropical storm. You know, rain, tropical storm conditions and such are going to be expected by the time 2 p.m. on Friday. So by Friday, that should be on the um, Florida Panhandle. But as I said, those in Florida, especially portions of eastern Florida, you should be getting prepared for a hurricane at least by the time 2 a.m. on Friday or Thursday. But of course, this is going to weaken eventually into a tropical storm by the time it approaches portions of eastern Florida. So you guys, as I said, you need to be getting prepared for hurricane conditions although it's going to be affecting your area as you know a tropical storm but tropical storm could still have many problems and bring you know rough surf it could bring it's definitely not could it's going to be bringing tropical storm conditions and maybe even hurricane conditions hence why there's currently a hurricane watch up for those areas there's a hurricane watch up currently for portions of um eastern florida mainly portions between central and southeastern florida there's a hurricane watch for you guys those in the bahamas there's a hurricane watch for you guys also because this is going to be approaching that area as a hurricane on 8 p.m. on Wednesday, which is going to be on the night time, in the night time. Then it's going to move on towards Florida, then eventually get into the Gulf of Mexico, where then it will be a tropical storm, and it will remain a tropical storm up until it, it gets off the east coast. It will be affecting portions of the Florida Panhandle, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, you guys are going to be getting affected by this maybe even tropical storm conditions but this is going to be a, it right now it's pretty much slow but it should pick up its pace by the time it gets towards portions of eastern florida but the national hurricane center they mentioned that dangerous storm surge is possible especially portions of the northwestern bahamas so you guys should be expecting storm surge rough seas and all of that you guys should be expecting and also heavy rains the national hurricane center also mentions that do not focus on the exact track of nicole since it's expected to be a large storm with hazards extending well north of the center and outside of the cone and even affecting the Florida Peninsula and portions of the southeastern U.S. So if you're out of the cone, that does not mean that you guys are not going to be getting affected. If you guys look at the wind feel for this, it has a pretty large wind feel span. So eventually, if this makes its way towards portions of eastern Florida, it will be affecting you know maybe even the whole area that it's going to be in so you guys should be getting prepared for tropical storm conditions and even hurricane conditions so i'm going to um release another forecast probably going to be like within the next couple of hours or maybe by the next day or so I'm going to try to keep you guys updated with this of course and thank you guys for watching today's video